Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we've got the first of three videos this week. This one's going to be the best right-handed hitters in MLB The Show 21, all right? We're going to go over the hitters, we're going to talk about them, we're going to compare them to some of the other hitters and show why they are the best options overall at those positions, all right? So you guys do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, man, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Later this week, we're going to have the best left-handed hitters and best switch hitters as well. So you guys make sure that you got notifications on so you don't miss out on any of those. Between all three of these, you should be able to compile a badass squad of awesome cards to make yourself a god squad to take into ranked or conquest or play versus computer games or whatever mode you enjoy playing. All right, let's go and get right to the video here. But first, a word from our sponsor. Hey, everybody, the holidays are here. They're upon us. And now through the end of the year, you can use code Tom 22 in my merch store by clicking the link in the description below to get 22% off every item in the store. All right. Now through the end of the year, Tom 22 to get 22% off every item in my merch store. That's hoodies, T-shirts, mugs, cups, all kinds of accessories, all kinds of things available to you there with my Threadhead logo on them. You guys check it out. If you're interested in supporting the channel, I really appreciate it. All right, you guys, so here we are. We're going to take a look at the best right-handed hitters and the best right-handed squad here at each position in MLB The Show 21. Now that most of the cards have dropped, so we're going to cover some of the cards that they are compared to and that they're similar to. So you guys can see, obviously, the cards that I've chosen right here on the on the squad and on the screen right now. But I'm going to talk about why each one I feel is the best card at its position. And we try to stick with primary positions with most of these. And we will. You'll see that through the through, through the three videos, the best left handed hitters, the best switch hitters as well throughout the rest of the week. But for these right handed hitters specifically, let's go ahead and start here at catcher at catcher. Now, look, catcher is going to be a weird one. I know and you guys know that I grew up as a uh, as a Rangers fan here. Pudge is one of my favorite players of all time. I tried not to pick him as a Rangers homer, though, for this. There are reasons I picked him, and let's show right now, all right? So when you look at the screen here and you compare the two cards, uh, when you compare one card to another card, a lot of times you're going to see things like uh, a lot more better vision, better better fielding, better contact, better power. Uh, but maybe some guy might have, you know, the majority of one over the other. So that's what we're kind of looking at when we look at these green check marks and we're looking at at uh, attributes that they have over top of the other player that we're comparing them to down here in the bottom. So in the instance of Pudge here, particularly, I know a lot of people like maybe Mike Piazza. Um, yes, he has a little bit better contact. It's comparable, though. It's very similar to Pudge's. Uh, he's got better power, but everything else in every other category is much better for Pudge Rodriguez. So that's why we went with him over Piazza. Adley Rutschman. Now, I know Adley is a very popular card for a lot of people. He's a switch hitting catcher. He's got great defense. One of the reasons that I went with Pudge over him is purely based on the swing and hitting. I've talked to a lot of people and myself included who have struggled with the Adley Rutschman card. Uh, and I, a lot of people that I've actually talked to this year have said that the Pudge card has been a lot better for them. Uh, for me in particular, he's been a lot better. So uh, it's a card that I just thought was maybe a little bit better. The fact that he has the speed and the ability to steal, steal bases also. That's 63 stealing. Don't hesitate on that, man. You can actually steal bases with 74 speed and 63 stealing. Uh, so it is a good card. And Pudge has plenty enough pop to be able to get balls out of the yard as well. Uh, now, we picked him over a guy maybe like Buster Posey, who's one of the new cards uh, here in the finest cards that have just come out. Picked him over him purely for the fact of speed. I got tired of hitting balls off the wall with this Buster Posey and getting singles. Uh, it was just killing me. So uh, that speed alone at uh, even 16 at P2, it's just it's just too slow. It's too slow to make this card usable, in my opinion. Now, there's another card also in particular for catcher that we have put on as a backup. So on the bench, I'm going to cover those cards here in just a little bit. Uh, but this one, I guess we'll just cover them kind of right now as we get to those positions for them. But Salvador Perez, I think Salvador Perez is a very comparable pick. Uh, here for catcher, you can get him to diamond defense. Once you get him to P5, that's going to be awesome with this card. So comparing him to Pudge, uh, they compare pretty evenly, except for the power, obviously the speed, obviously. 
Uh, but as far as the hitting and the fielding, they're going to be pretty close. So it just kind of depends on if you like more of a contact or more of a power hitter in that instance for catcher. Now, if we move on to first base for right-handed hitters, one of the newest cards right now that's just come out is this Jimmy Fox card. I think the Jimmy Fox card is the best option for first base that we have right now in the game. He's got a really glitchy swing. You guys are going to hear me use that phrase a lot too, by the way, glitchy swing. And it is a thing. There's just cards for some reason, whatever reason, they just seem to have a glitchy swing. It's not for everybody, but the majority of the community or a good portion of the com community will kind of agree on that. And it's rare that we all agree on something, I guess. But but that's one of those things that we can kind of agree on, on on a lot of these glitchy cards. Now, a couple of cards that I've compared this Jimmy Fox to as we look at some of the right handed hitting cards here. And let's let's look at these because I think we were just looking at uh, on catchers. We were well, they're all right handed anyway, uh, mostly. And, and we'll find that out when we get to that left handed video. That's why we were seeing all righties right there and some switch hitters as well. But here are the right handed first baseman that you have to choose from in the game. Obviously, there's a lot of great options. There are a lot of great options. This Yuli Gurriel is a new card. It's a great option. He's got a great swing. I just prefer that Jimmy Fox with a little bit more power, plus having that catcher secondary third base option as well is nice. Frank Thomas right here. Now, Yuli Gurriel has options as well with second and third base and left field. So I don't want to count that out as though he doesn't. But uh, also Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas is a guy that a lot of people like, but the swing and his strike zone, I mean, he's got an 80 foot strike zone that you're trying to, <laughs> you're trying to swing within. So it can be a little bit difficult. Sometimes this card can give people a little bit of problems. Uh, there's a uh, Miguel Cabrera is a great card, but then you're going to run, you're going to run into the, uh, the hitting just being generally better with Jimmy Fox all over the board right there. It's just all over the board better. Pete Alonzo doesn't really have the contact for this part of the year, uh, this late in the year, in my opinion. It's a great 99, but it was a home run derby card. They're not meant to have great contact. They're meant to have great power. The CJ Chrome card is great, but, you know, just doesn't hold up on contact. And a lot of these cards just don't. If you look at the majority of those check marks, they're all going to be right there on that left side with Jimmy Fox. The one card that I found for first base that kind of compares to him is going to be this Vlad Guerrero Jr., in my opinion. This Vlad card is great. Um, I've got him to P5. I used it earlier in the year. Uh, it was a great card for me. He hit 328 online, 33 homers, 28 doubles. He just, he just mashes the ball. He's a great card. So there's another great option, I think, for you for Vlad Jr. Uh, if you're not able to maybe complete that collection or get part of that collection done to get Jimmy Fox. All right. Moving on to second base, though, we're going to go here to Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson is my pick for it. And I know that's crazy. He's like one of the first cards to come out the entire year. But second base has been a little lackluster this year. And you guys are going to see what I mean. When we go look at second base for, I want to see, we don't have any uh, any backups for second base, not primaries, at least down here. But Jackie Robinson for right-handed hitters. Look at the green check marks compared to the ones on the right side to all of these other hitters. Jonathan India, great card that just came out. He's got a little bit more pop, but everything else is better on Jackie's side. Marcus Simeon, a little bit more pop, but just about everything else is better. Biggio, same thing. Sandberg, now we're getting into 97, so we're already out of those. If you go to secondaries, you go to secondaries, you might be able to find a few guys that have a little bit better options. But we try to, like I said, stay with the primary positions here for these cards because there's a lot of them. And, uh, you know, it's it's hard to cover them all that way. So staying with the primaries, Jackie Robinson, I believe, is still the best right handed hitting option at second base in the game, even now in November. All right. Moving on to shortstop here. It's Fernando Tatis Jr., the new 99 for Dando Tatis Jr. This card's insane. What, what do we say about this card? All right. Let's look at these other right handed options and we can compare them. There are some that are comparable but just not over the top like this. And I know a lot of people love, in, in particular, this Trey Turner card over here, all right? But Trey Turner and the defense alone is just not getting it done compared to what we've got over here with uh, with Tatis. And once you get him to P5, you can have 99 fielding. So 99 reaction as well. Yeah, that's, that's hard to top. And it's, the Trey Turner card is great, but that fielding is what holds him up from being an option on here for me. Bo Bichette, another great card that just came out, but... I'm, I just look, man, the check marks, the check marks speak for themselves on this one. Uh, Fernando Tatis has just got it kind of covered all around the board. Honus Wagner, if you prefer contact to power, might be an option for you. That is a good one there. A lot of people struggle with his swing, but some people just absolutely fall in love with it. So there's a good one for you. Barry Larkin has been a lot better this year for a lot of people, but he just doesn't hold up right there when you compare the two. The Correa card. Now, look, I don't want to get in, I don't want to have anybody telling me that I, just because I don't like the Astros that <laughs> that I went. I didn't uh, compare the Carlos Correa card. All right. I love my Astros fans. 
So let's 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 look at this one. Let's look at this one. It's just not better. It's just not better, man. The Correa card is just not better than the Tati. On paper, and we're talking about on paper with all of these. Some of these cards might be better for you, and I understand that. But on paper, it's just not a better card, all right? So, Fernando Tatis Jr., the best option at shortstop, in my opinion. Moving on to third base now. Nolan Arenado. Now, I didn't just go all Colorado Rockies homer and in on this one with the Nolan Arenado card. He actually is the most deserving. And when we compare them, you guys are going to see right here to the other right-handed hitters. So we're taking a look here at the other righties. We got Spencer Torkelson right up here at, at the first card. 99 right here overall card. He just doesn't compare. Not on, on most of the categories. I mean, it's the majority of the categories are better. Vinny Castilla right here. Another Rocky uh, for third base, but he doesn't compare as well. Patrick Wisdom just doesn't compare, man. The checks are all on the left side right there. Brooks Robinson, great card. He's got a glitchy swing for a lot of people, uh, but it's uh, it's a rare card. It gets under it's underrated very much so, and uh, he just doesn't get used a lot. But but Nolan Nolan's got that glitchy swing too. Mike Schmidt, another great card here with uh, with some options for secondaries. I believe yeah, he's got first and short as well. So. Uh, but it just doesn't compare for as far as right-handed hitters go. Uh, Anthony Rendon, same thing. And, and we move on to all of these, and it's the exact same thing. So my pick is Nolan Arenado for that. I want to make sure who we got down here. We got outfielders. That's who we've got for all these others. So I'll cover those here at the end and show you guys the outfielders. But for left field, we're going to move on to here. It's Hank Aaron for me. For right-handed hitters, it's Hank Aaron. Now, he might have a swing that's difficult for you. Uh, I've heard that from some people. He's good against lefties for me, better than righties. But... I struggle with that with a lot of guys. So Hank Aaron, though, is the best card overall as we scroll through all these other right-handed hitting uh, left fielders for primary left fielders. Alfonso Soriano is an option. But man, if you guys struggled like I did with that card, I don't know. Look, he was it was a card I wanted to use and I wanted to be good because he's a new legend of the game. But it just wasn't all it was cracked up to be, in my opinion. So as we go through all of these here, look at Hank Aaron and how he dominates all these cards. And it's not surprising. It's Hank Aaron. It's Hank. Why wouldn't he? So Hank Aaron's definitely the great option out there for left field. For center field, it's going to be Willie Mays on paper. I know that he has a swing that can be a struggle for a lot of people. But we're going to look at other right-handed options here. And if you just look at the checks. How do you not pick Willie Mays for this option for this video? Uh, I think this will get changed soon. All right, I think this will get changed when the Mike Trout card releases. We're going to get a 99 Trout. I feel it's coming. Probably the lone 10th inning boss, the one and only 10th inning boss. Last year, it was Griffey for the one and only 10th inning boss. I think it's going to be Trout this year. He could replace this spot for Willie Mays uh, in a lot of people's eyes. So he has a much better swing to deal with in the game for most folks. And uh, I think that uh, Willie's probably going to take a seat for a lot of guys when that happens. All right, but moving on here to the final position, we got right field and I picked Mookie Betts. It is the Legends of Flashback collection reward Mookie Betts. Uh, he's a great card. Uh, when you compare him to other right fielders, there are ones that compare. Vlad Guerrero Jr. is or Vlad Guerrero Sr. I'm sorry, is a great card as well. Uh, but the defense, he just doesn't have the defense like like Mookie does. And Mookie having that ability to play second base uh, is great as well. This new Avisiel Garcia has a glitchy swing, man. And use this card if you haven't. If you don't have Mookie, try this one out. I think it's a great option. Mitch Hanniger is probably a great option as well there, too. I haven't gotten any time with him. Maybe we will today on stream. Uh, so we might try that today on stream. But uh, Clemente is great for some. <sighs> I was disappointed with this card. I don't think I've ever wanted a card to be so good in one year, especially as a new legend. And he just... Did not leave up, live up to my expectations personally. So maybe next year, maybe he'll be a little bit better. I will definitely try him. Jorge Soler would be up here in the conversation, but the defense. The defense just isn't getting it done uh, and the speed as well. Mookie's kind of got it all. I mean, he has everything that you need. So uh, as far as these other guys on the bench that we want to cover, you already, you already saw them throughout the video, but these are kind of like my my uh, runner-ups to this. It's going to be Enrique Hernandez here, Kike Hernandez. With all of the positions he plays, and as good of a swing he has and diamond defense. When she came to P3, he's diamond defense at every one of these positions. This card's one of the best cards of the year. The Ronald Acuna Jr. All-Star Game card, I think, is another great card. I know he doesn't have great contact against righties. I don't know what it is about this card, though. He's got a really glitchy swing. Uh, just one of those that always did well for me. And then Tyler O'Neill is an option for left field, I think, for everybody. So there's an out option for outfield positions, every position at a primary right there with all of those cards. Uh, so those are my right-handed guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope this helps if you're looking for right-handed hitters to use. Uh, we'll have the left-handed hitters. I've already got the squads built up at the top here. Left-handed hitters and switch hitters coming later this week. 
So you guys make sure you got notifications on for that. But do me a favor as always and make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Make sure to join me for streams too, guys. Thanks. Peace.